Hey guys, it's Plant Pirate here. I'm back with a really, like, another cool microorganism to talk about. Um, actually it's not that cool, but, uh, it's cool that we found out about it and we might be able to cure it. Um, so we already talked about the parasite that might be causing schizophrenia, and now let's talk about breast cancer. So here we go. Okay. So, by now I'm sure most of you have heard about HPV, and that's human papillomavirus. Um, and the problem with it is that it's the leading cause of cervical cancer in women. And that's, there's a whole big kerfuffle over whether girls should be getting uh, uh, a vaccine to prevent themselves from getting cervical cancer later in life, etc, etc. But anyways, that's not the topic of this video. My point is that there's other viruses that we're now finding out that cause um, other types of cancers. And this seems really counterintuitive, and it did to me. I wasn't sure how just a simple virus could cause cancer. I'll tell you. Uh, a virus can insert their genetic material into the genome of um, the cell that they're infecting. But they only have the capability of doing this uh, across certain sequences of DNA. And when these sequences are found in the middle of a particular gene, the virus, when it inserts itself into that gene, can stop the gene from working. And the gene won't make what it's supposed to make. So in addition to that, there's also certain gene products that help the cell to regulate its growth. And these tell the cell when you should start multiplying and when you should stop multiplying. And when a cell keeps multiplying and multiplying, um, it doesn't do the task that the body needs it to, and instead it makes a tumor. So when a virus inserts itself into a gene that tells the cell to stop dividing, um, this means that the cell is unable to. Um, and this is the process that causes cancer. And that is how a simple virus is able to cause cancer, by inserting itself into a gene that tells the cell to stop dividing. So, uh, not surprisingly, animals get viruses too, uh, that cause cancer. And there was this woman in New York, her name is Beatriz Pogo, and she found that a particular virus that causes cancer, uh, which is found in mice, uh, it's called mouse mammary tumor virus, or MMTV, uh, it's not MTV, it's MMTV, it was found in almost 40% of human breast tumors. So, MMTV is actually able to infect humans. It's a mouse virus. Uh, so interesting. And in another experiment, a guy named Brian Salmons, uh, he lives in Austria, he found that human breast cells can be infected with MMTV in the lab. So, that's just sort of like a double confirmation. So, we don't get sick from it, and we can't pass it on to other people, but we can get it from mice. So you might say that nowadays we don't have that much, that much contact with mice, uh, but actually, rather disgustingly, it seems as if some processed food comes into contact with mice, or may even include mice parts, mouse parts. So it might actually be rather common for us to be exposed to um, this virus. So while genetics may only be responsible for 10% of human virus, uh, human breast cancers, um, a larger portion of these cancers might actually be caused by a mouse virus. And figuring out this stuff is really, really cool and means that we can actually find a cure. Uh, so, like, for example, we could have a vaccine against MMTV once we figure out how. Um, and that would cut breast cancer rates presumably quite a lot. Uh, so it seems like a very worthwhile thing to do. Alright, so this is Plant Pirate. I hope you've enjoyed this cool science video. And I'll be back with more really interesting information about microorganisms that cause disease in a little while. Peace.